Plume rise is something we need to consider for hot exhaust gas coming out of an elevated source. So due to buoyancy, if the emissions are at higher temperature, temperature than the surrounding air, and what we call the exit velocity of the plume, like it's being forced upward out of the stack, this plume could very well rise above the top of the stack. So here's our stack. Let's draw a picture of our plume. Maybe it looks something like that, where the center line of the plume is clearly well above the height of the stack. Let's say it's there. Well, the height of the stack is lowercase h. The height of this plume rise, we're gonna call delta h. And altogether, it gives us the total height of the plume, which is capital H. Now there are many empirical equations for this. We will talk about the Holland equation, but there's also the Briggs and others. Holland's formula is this. Delta H, the plume rise, is equal to V sub S, D sub S, over U sub S times 1.5 plus 0 0.00268 P times D sub S times T sub S minus T sub A over T sub S. Let's walk through these variables. V sub S is the stack gas velocity. So that will be in units of meters per second. U sub S is the wind velocity or wind speed at the top of the stack, height lowercase h. D sub S is the stack diameter in meters, P is the pressure, in units of millibars, T sub A and S are the atmospheric and stack temperatures. And those need to be in units of Kelvin. Now for these variables, because this is an empirical equation, the constants depend on using these units. So you must use these units for these particular variables. Here's an example problem. We want to calculate the plume rise for the previous example of ethanol coming from Lane Stadium. If the stadium is 40 meters tall, so that's our lowercase h, and its diameter is 200 meters. This is kind of a ridiculous example because usually your stack is tall and the diameter is relatively small compared to its height. Here we're considering the stadium as a stack, so it's a really wide, huge diameter stack. Gas exits the stadium at a velocity of 0 0.001 meters per second and a temperature of 25 degrees Celsius. Outside the stadium, the pressure is 0 0.93 atmospheres and the temperature is 20 degrees Celsius. The one thing we're not told here is the wind speed. In the previous problem, we were told that the wind speed was 2.5 meters per second at plume height. We're gonna assume that the velocity is also 2.5 meters per second at the top of the stadium, assuming that there's not too much difference <clears throat> between the wind speed at the plume height, it rises some delta H, and the top of the stadium. So the actual U is going to be slightly less at stack height, but we can check that. One thing we need to do here is to convert the pressure to millibars. So it's 0 0.93 atmospheres, and the conversion is 1,013 millibars per atmosphere, which gives us 942 millibars. We can now make the substitutions into Holland's equation 
and our delta H equals 0 0.001 meters per second. So that's the velocity of the stack gas exiting times 200 meters, which is the diameter of the stack, divided by the wind velocity, which we're assuming is 2.5 meters per second at the top of the stadium, times the empirical part, which is 1.5 plus 0 0.00268 times the pressure in millibars, which is 942, times the diameter in meters, which is 200, times these temperatures, which is the stack temperature of 298, 25 degrees Celsius, minus ambient, which is 293, the 20 degrees Celsius, divided by the stack temperature of 298 Kelvin. And this gives me 0 0.8 meters. Now remember in the previous problem, we were told that the plume height was 41 meters. Um, so this is uh, consistent with, with that. Uh, we could also, again, check the wind velocity at a height of 40 meters versus 41 meters. It's still going to be 2.5 meters per second, um, at least to, to that level of precision.